Hi, it's Mari, author of Amazon number one best-selling cookbook, Kitchen with a Flex Piece, and、um, host of Healthy Meal of Magic for Two. I teach you simple and stress-free systems for everyday cooking. So today I'm going to show you the easiest, quickest, and the easiest way to steam broccoli. And、um, you can use a big frying pan like this with the lid. And then here I chop up broccoli in bite-sized pieces, and then. I put the I cut I cut the end. This is the reason why、um, you see like all the water all over the place. But basically, by cutting the end,、um, fill up the、uh, water. You can wash the、uh, broccoli, and then by cutting the end, you can get rid of the、uh, water. So just make sure to do that before you go live. And then you're gonna dump the whole thing into a big pot. And um, and um, you don't have to use a really big one like this, but you know you get the idea. And then、um, I'm gonna add back a little bit of water, just enough, maybe for this big of a frying pan. I don't know about quarter cup or so. Just I don't I don't know if you can see it, but you know just so that it would、um, it would steam the、um, the broccoli without. Morning, yeah, the、uh, the pan, and then I'm just gonna put the lid on, and、um, it's better to use a tight fitting lid, and、um, I'm just gonna turn this on, and then it takes about、uh, five to six minutes. So basically, how you would know that it's done is that it was that、um, you would start seeing a lot of、uh, steam coming from the、um, the side and all around, and、um, that means it's done. And then also instead of、um, kind of like you know opaque color, it will turn into something very glossy. I have used broccoli today, but you can basically use exactly the same method for bite-sized、um, carrots,、uh, cauliflower, green beans, root vegetables,、um, you know. That sort of things. I actually like the mixture in this big、um, frying pan, and、um, when I do that, I like to divide by like you know the the, the corner for the、uh, carrots, the corner for、um, broccoli, the corner for the area for the、um, cauliflower,、uh, green beans, and、um, you know all that. So that if I want to,、um, when I uh, steer, uh, store them. I can put it into a different containers so that I have an option to either mix it or use it by itself or just two, three, whatever. But this is definitely so much faster than you know boiling the、um, the water and everything. And、um, yes, this is very very easy. And I definitely recommend that you use something. If you don't have something big like mine, you can use a regular frying pan. But basically, the idea is you want something shallow and then as wide as possible on the bottom, so that you can create this like sauna-like effect. And、um, you know, basically, the、uh, the steam would、uh, the steam from the little bit of water from the bottom evaporates and then creates this you know. Crazy sauna like effect, and then it will cook the、uh, vegetables, and then it's it's gonna turn out really crisp. This is called spider strainer, and they use it a lot in the、uh, Chinese restaurants. And then these are very handy when you're scooping out like shou pasta,、um, beans, that sort of thing. Not let alone the、uh, um, you know broccoli and stuff. But basically, they have so many.、Uh, basically, it's made of wire, so you can just scoop it up and then put it into、uh, you know container like this, right? And then you will not have to.、Um, you will end up with the、uh, you know pretty dry vegetables. And these vegetables are pretty much ready to go. So you can just add、um, you know, whatever the、um, condiments you want to add, or you can just、um, use it for different dish. Like when you're making something like a broccoli and an egg salad, or、um, you can cook it with the、um, you know、um, chicken or beef or seafood, shrimp or something, whatever, or use it in like some vegetarian dishes. You can、um, steam your vegetables in in some pot. But then I noticed that it takes a while for the instant pot to、uh, pressurize inside, and then even if you do like zero minute, 
it tends to get a little bit too soft. So um, yeah, so that is the reason why I like to use my um, frying pan. And yeah, certainly you can brand, um, you know, you boil a large amount of water and then branch and everything. But again, it takes a long time and then I'm just, you know, too lazy. So I just like things to be really quick and be done. And then by doing this way, you don't even have to branch it. I mean, you know, cool it down in the ice bath. I mean, you you can, but I don't, I, I don't even do that. I'm just too lazy. Okay, so can you see like, you know, some of the steam coming up? I don't know if you can see it with, so it's, the timer is off. It was exactly six minutes and then look, it's nice and done. All right, nice and green. So I'm done. The water left you, so you could have even, you know, used a little less water, but you know, it's better to have a little bit extra than not, not enough. And I'm just gonna scoop them up with this, and um, yeah, maybe I don't know. Some of the, some of them, I'm just gonna use it for dinner tonight, and um, some others I'm gonna make something else. So that is it, and um, you can also. You, use the same method for potatoes and sweet potatoes as well and pumpkins but when you do potato and sweet potatoes especially potatoes make sure to use a lot of water because it is <laughs> a lot more water than the broccoli and then it takes longer too and then if you're not careful you end up burning your pan and then it's a pain to burn it so anyway thank you for watching thank you so much for watching and you know that's that's pretty much it for today let me know um you know if you try it and then also um what is your favorite broccoli dish and um look forward to hearing from you soon take care um don't forget to subscribe and um let me know if you have any questions all right bye